All right. Get your geek on. Time to do round two. All right. Cancel out your, you know, class competition one if you've got it running. Make sure you only have one running at the same time. All right. And this time for simplicity, now you can skip to rounds by basically putting the round that you want to skip to at the end of your command line. So you do Python binhunt.py space two, and then you'll skip right to round two. All right, and then again, just do your, you know, on your own single player mode and start trying to answer the questions. Give you about five minutes for this, maybe 10 minutes. I will go with five minutes. Five minutes and then we'll do the class competition. <coughs> Yep, so if you get stuck with a 64-bit binary, you have no choice but to use uh, no choice but to use CFF Explorer. So if you want to still figure out what the mapping is between the names that CFF Explorer uses and the names that PView uses, you can just open up in your Python demo folder. There's template 32 and template 64. You can just open template 32 and PView, template 32 and CFF Explorer, and look at, you know, okay, CFF, oh, I'll show you here. So up in your Python demo folder, you have template32.exe. If I go there and I go to the optional header and the characteristics, right, DLL characteristics, I click there, it says DLL can move. Well, that's the ALSR one or the dynamic base one, right? So I basically just need to do the 32-bit one, open it, and then over in PView, open that as well. Play32.exe, look at the characteristics. So I can see over in PView it says dynamic base, NX compat to terminal server. And over here it says DLL can move images NX compatible in terminal server order. So you can see the correspondence between things like that, and you can map over to 64 bit. As I said before, this is where limitations of the tools start to get start to enter into things. It's not even bad yet. Be so much fun later. All right, well, so if you get through round two and you get back to round one and it crashes, yeah, and I think that's due to the new code where I'm trying to avoid PU kind of stuff, but looks like it's not working as I intended. But I mean, it's weird because if I skip to that and then I go back, it seems to work. So we'll, we'll figure it out at some point today. But for now, let's compete. So everybody. Close any P view windows that you have open, just in case they're you know holding anything open. Your question. Yeah. Yeah. question is the hardware support. Yes. What is DDP data execution prevention, which has to do with the NX flag. If it has the NX flag set, it supports that. That was from this right here. It's NX compatible, Microsoft calls that data execution function. Okay, so everybody should cancel out of all your games, close all your previews. We're going to do a new <coughs> Python bin hunt space two. At this time, you're going to say two for class mode, and then you're going to wait for your seed. Your seed is two, four, six. All right, we've got our gold, silver, and bronze medalists. If no one else going once, going twice, anyone have less than 160? All right. Uh, <laughs> Good job, everyone. Uh, is this cheating? What? Is this cheating going on? There's cheating going on. <laughs> really? If anyone <laughs> finds the cheat codes, you can use the cheat codes. Go look at the source. There's cheat codes. I will lose. Actually, you know, eventually, if you like, really look at all the files, the section headers will eventually tell you the cheat codes. But you got to look at a lot of files before you figure it out. So section Eventually, well, no, I mean, actually, look for things that are written backwards. They got like an arrow pointing that way, and that's written backwards. And if you find enough of those, the thing is, they're randomly choosing them. But there's like a cheat. This, like, this is the cheat code. The cheat code is foo. And it's all written backwards, one section at a time. You have to do a lot of random ones. Eventually, when I make it a binary, it'll be harder. You'll have to find the cheat codes that way. Right now, you just look at the source and search for cheat codes. 